Right, hello everybody and welcome back to Harold Road. I hope you're all well. Um, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Batley. I've been a modeler for about 40 odd years. And um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to be doing a loco review. Ooh, indeed. Loco I don't normally do loco reviews because I'm not really Sam's train. So I don't go into it with all bells and whistles and all this special effects. This is going to be a raw review of a brand new product. Uh, no disrespect to Sam's Trains. I, I don't, I'm not going to slate Sam's Trains because I actually like Sam's Trains. Just going to put that on record. Anyway, uh, back to what we were talking about. We're going to be doing this review of a da new Dapol Class 59. Now, why have I bought a Class 59? <laughs> I don't honestly know. I think I was slightly drunk last week and I had a few rums and uh, ended up on a website uh, and ended up with a class 59 it's not even <laughs> it's not even my modeling area for this to be in but i couldn't resist it because it's just i mean wow i mean it's just a a gorgeous looking model so i mean it's not been out long and uh, some people have uh, really given this some bad stick and uh, criticized it so I'm going to kind of look at it from my from my way of looking at things um, and I'm going to see if I can find any errors with it and now let me let me tell you first I can't I can't run it I'll have to do that on a separate video because this has been delivered to work and I'm doing this review because there is no reviews for it on YouTube so I thought I can be the first to do like an in-depth detailed review of the new Dapol class 59. This one is 59206 John F. Yeoman and as you can see it's in its DB Schenker red livery. Uh, the livery is uh, is really nice. Uh, it's, 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 uh, it's very red isn't it? <laughs> anyway let's not let's stop pissing around. Right so let's um, let's have a quick look. So there is a couple of things that have, have, have come to my attention straight away. I'm gonna be honest um, it may not bother you, but it bothers me. I mean, I've got a pointy stick. And I'm going to show you a couple of things that I don't particularly like so far. Now, the the brake pipe and the main res pipe are just beside the shackle. They should be further over towards the driver's buffer. What's more worrying is there's two more holes for two more pipes. It doesn't have them. It's only got two pipes. So we've got two holes here that I can't do nothing with. The four smaller holes, either side of the shackle, that's normal, but that is not. Another thing is the individual wipers. They don't even touch the actual windscreens. They're actually proud, which is a little bit uh, off-putting. So that's got to be sorted out. The uh, NRN pod, which is uh, this thing here, that's what we call in Norfolk on the huh. That, that's not even straight. The exhaust silencer is uh, too high. It should be lower on a class 59. Apart from those items I've just pointed out, and that's just me being a river counter, uh, it is a finely detailed model. I mean, I can't fault the, the detailing on it. But one thing really annoys me, and I bought this model because it's got opening doors. I mean, wow, we opening doors. You're right, let's open the doors up for you and show you. Hang on, it's got to get me pointy stick in the right place. That's as far as it goes. I mean, wow, what a gimmick. That's even sprung as well. It opens up around about half a mil. I mean, I, I was really hoping that the doors would open slightly further than that. But that's as far as it goes. I mean, it wouldn't have been nice to be sitting in the side and with one of the doors completely open. Oh, God. And they sprung, they sprung them as well. Uh, oh, I've got to do this thing that everyone does. It's got sprung buffers. It's got sprung buffers. Yeah, right, we'll, we'll get away from that. Anyway, let's just lay it on its side. And uh, we'll have a good look at so, Look at the, the detailing. Now, the bogey steps are slightly loose. But, I mean, I can sort that, not a problem. Look at all that individual wiring, and that's good, isn't it? Huh? Air tanks, battery boxes, fuel, fuel tank, detailed bogies, 
very nice indeed as I say it's well worth the price that it's been asked for now as I said I can't run it. I'm gonna do it on a separate video when I get home but there was one thing that kind of another thing that kind of made me worry when I got out of the box and I'll show you what that is as you lift it up all right hang on get, get it in focus you know what you're looking at my quality street do you uh, the, bo <laughs> the bogey I mean is that is that normal is that normal to be hanging down like that it's really I mean it's really floppy and the other ones the other one's not much better. They're really floppy. Floppy bogeys. Hopefully when I get it on the track at home it won't be uh, it won't be so bad. But I mean I didn't like that when I lifted it out of the box and saw them hanging down like that. And it's also got um rotating axle boxes. Now we've we've seen this gimmick before with the Hatton's class sixty six. So hopefully when I get this running they are gonna stay in position. Alright? We're gonna we're gonna hope that they don't fall off. Um but I'm going to say, for the money that I paid for it, it's, it is a beautiful looking locomotive. As you can see from the camera angles in my messy tea room. <laughs> that, um, yeah, it is a, a stunningly good looking model. I mean, you've got all the, uh, the cab detailing in there. The cooler group grill at the top, which won't get in focus, I think. Is, uh, that's brilliant. That's, that's, uh, that's really quite good. But I really am annoyed about the open, the opening door feature, which isn't really, which opens about <laughs> about one mil. Cool, what? All that for that. Well, anyway, there you go. That's a quick review of the uh, the new Dapol Class Fifty Nine. I mean, I went for this because I've got loads of uh, Dapol Class Sixty Eights. I mean, I can't really fault my Class Sixty Eights, um, but I have pointed out just a few little niggles. On this new Dapol 59, um, the exhaust silencer is a big is a big no no. Yeah, that 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 kind of stands out. And the two holes on the front uh, for extra air pipes, which uh, the locomotive does not carry. Uh, but you also get with the locomotive a bag of bits. Within the bag of bits, you've got your your um, as you can see your name plates. You've got some NEM pockets, some couplings, and some dummy shackles, plus all of the, your main res and brake pipes. That comes with it, which is quite good. So there you have it. That's the normal review. Um, I'm going to do a running review on a separate um, video. But I'm, you can clearly see that this is a, a nice-looking model. So I'll just uh, leave you with what the model is. Uh, if you're looking to buy one, I'll give you the cat number. So there you have it. There's your cat number. That's uh, 00 class 59 59 206 DB Schenger John F Yeoman, and the cat number is 4D 005002. So to finish, I've just spun it round on its other side, so you can have another look. So there you have it. That's a look at the Dapol class. 59 in DB Schenker. There is a few more in other liveries like the ARC, ver uh, the ARC versions. Check them out on your local model shop if they're stocking them. But for now, um, I'm going to leave the review, the rather scrappy review, in my works tea room. Quality, isn't it? Quality. And um, I'll do the next YouTube video of it running on Harold Road. So there you go, that's a normal review um, of the new class 59 from Dapol. I'll see you on the next video.